okay, well, it's a chilly evening and I'm with Linda Oliver, who's the Conservative candidate for the district election uh, in Road and Norton St. Philip. Of course, the district council's been very much at the centre of the storm in Road over the Church Farm and Park Gate Lane application. Um, it's been because of the problems over planning in Mendip that we ended up with the application going ahead based on the MPPF guidelines in Church Farm and Parkgate Lane. There's a lot of anger towards Mendip about that. What can we do now? What can you do about Parkgate Lane and Church Farm? Is there anything you can do to help that situation? Yes, there is. I mean, the most important thing now is to make sure, and I, and I am aware that there's a lot of conditions being applied to that development, and these conditions need to be adhered to uh, and monitored uh, throughout the period of that development, you know, the start and um, ongoing. I mean, we've had a similar issue in Norton St. Philip with 51 houses, and what we need to do is make sure that 106 agreements uh, are developed in a way that help mitigate the impact on the community so make sure that you get a fair share of money like we did in Norton St Philip and that those monies are spent in areas to um, help the community. You need to make sure the conditions are adhered to and that that development doesn't creep and things happen that are outside what was originally planned for and I think one of the key focuses is to make sure that any of the affordable houses as part of that development process are actually um, secured for local people and local people only because surely just like Norton St Philip Road have, will have got a lot of people who can't afford houses in this village and they need local um, facilities, uh, local housing. So there is actually quite a lot that the district councillor can do to, to ensure the village gets the most out of the development. Yeah, I think I think with the right candidate <laughs> and the right experience, because it takes some doing and some tenacity, you can fight for this village. We we got in Norton St Philip eight of four affordable houses for local people, and we only had eight houses in fifty one, uh, and I think you're targeted for eleven, and we got half of those allocated to local people. Right. Uh, and but when they are allocate, when the allocation process starts, more work needs to be done to make sure that the uh, local connection is adhered to properly, so they actually are people with local connection, not some tenuous link to uh, a local connection. Different, different topic. Uh, you're a Yorkshire lass, <laughs> and you live in Norton. Uh, you're uh, one of your other, one of our other candidates is uh, somebody who was brought up in Road. Why should a Yorkshire lass living in Norton be able to do a better job for for Road? Well, I don't know the candidate personally, uh, so I couldn't really say that I'm any better than him. All I can say is that um, for five years I've lived in Norton St. Philip, and for five years I've been massively active, and I've got a record of achieving things for the village, working for the community on a voluntary basis. And I can't see that actually, you know, all the district job does, does for me is give me an opportunity to do that at a higher level and have more clout doing it. I mean, I get things done anyway, and I, am, I have got a reputation for doing that. So I've got the clout now, but I'll have the formal clout to do it. And people have to talk to me, not talk to me just because I'm a bit more belligerent, they'll have to talk to me because I'm a district councillor. And I've achieved in Norton St. Philip things that, and, and dealt with issues in Norton St. Philip that are clearly issues in, um, in road, highways, housing, developers, 106 monies. I've got a reputation. I, I've written all the bids for the monies in Norton St. Philip, for the church, for the recreation area, um, for the, not for the school. Oh, I shouldn't say that, but we've got 70,000 for the school. But I've written those bids to get those monies. Because uh, it's not a done deal. You just don't get them. You have to bid for them. I've got the experience. I'm a mature lady. <laughs> <laughs> and if there was one thing that you think you can make a difference, for road, what would that one thing be? Make a difference for road? Well, make a difference. I think one of the, 
We'll just fight for road like I fight for Norton St. Philip. I mean, the issues are not any different. There's one thing I found out when I've been canvassing. They're not ever any different. All I can do for road is what I've done for Norton St. Philip and use my professional background. I'm not working now. I'm retired. Uh, not that it feels like that, but um, I'll just use all the skills I've gained throughout my career um, to work for road just like I've done for Norton St. Philip. I feel passionate about things that I do. I don't do it for uh, money, that's for sure. Uh, I do it because I've got a passion about these things and then the same things, so I'll do the same things. Okay, that's Linda Oliver, Conservative candidate for uh, Mendip District Council. Election day is May the 2nd. For us now to make our decision. Thank you very much. Oh,